In this video, I'm going to show you three different techniques of how to keep your sleeping bag dry when you're camping, backpacking, hiking, skiing, mountaineering, polar exploring, or whatever. The three techniques are very valuable in different climates and different positions and different areas for what you do. The first technique that if you have a base camp, the base camp can be your tent or whatever, is you simply just come out and after you've gotten out of your sleeping bag, if it's a nice, cool, windy day with lots of sun out, you simply throw your bag over your tent and that's it. Now you might say, wow, that's really brilliant. Uh, I'm going to click away. Hang on. Two more techniques, the last technique being the absolute trick. So you can see I've draped my sleeping bag over my tent and it should dry, but there's no sun out. There, there's no way my sleeping bag's going to dry here. So if you're at a base camp and the sun's out and there's no wind, this technique works totally perfectly. You just have to simply turn your sleeping bag inside out, set it on your tent and all is well. The second technique is if you're mobile, you can put your sleeping bag on your backpack. Now you'll see a lot of backpackers who are doing long distance trail hiking use this technique where somehow you get your backpack on you, you get it all set up and you literally put your sleeping bag again inside out. You drape it on you and you begin marching. Some people just rough it over their sleeping bag and you start marching. Now this is a very good technique. Uh, Ray Jardine, the godfather of long distance backpacking has used this very successfully. However, a couple of risks. You're walking through the forest with your $800 sleeping bag, and if you snag it on a tree, a limb, something tear, whoo, crud. But it does allow you to be mobile. The second risk is you set this down, you put it in some tree sap, ugh. But the third real big downside is, okay, you're packing along, you've got this thing out, you think it's totally dry, now you gotta stop fold the sleeping bag in, and you can do this on a break, but nevertheless, you're gonna be putting your sleeping bag in the dirt, and you're gonna have to jam that thing in your stuff sack and in your backpack. I don't personally like it, but that's just my style. I'd rather use my third technique. So the third technique, I think this is most effective when you're doing super cold camping, like being on Denali or in Antarctica or the Arctic, I've used it in all these locations, is this. This third technique I believe is the most valuable and effective, especially snow camping where you've been in your bag all night, it's freezing and you don't really want to get out, but you need to get the day going is, as soon as you can get yourself out of the sleeping bag, immediately bundle up, put your park on, get all hooded up, and one, turn your sleeping bag inside out. Don't unzip it all the way to where you pop the zipper here but you got to make sure to get this thing completely inside out. Open the foot area and do that. And now, <laughs> all I simply do is I would take my parka off. It's minus 40, I know, it's freezing. But you actually take your sleeping bag and you put it over you and you wrap it up. So you use your sleeping bag as your jacket when you're eating your breakfast doing your morning chores and everything else. And the reason that I use this technique is because it lets your sleeping bag completely dry out, but it also adds the heat from your body to help dry your sleeping bag out. Because if you hop out and your sleeping bag is still kind of moist from your night of camping and uh, you know breath is all iced up and everything, and you just toss this thing to the side, all bundled up, like, oh, it's gonna dry. It's not gonna dry because there's no heat source to push the moisture out of the down. Instead, bundle this guy up, make sure you're not sitting on the bag at all, just sleep, sit on your sleeping pad. And then I just simply bundle it all around me very loosely, but it lets all the air flow and it uses the heat of my body to keep that moisture still liquid instead of turning into ice. And that heat from my body begins pushing the humidity out of the sleeping bag and into the environment. Especially when you're on cold, dry mountains or in polar climates, 
This is highly effective because as long as it's relatively dry, that heat from your body and the moisture in your bag, it'll push it out super quick. Now, how effective is this? I spent three months in Antarctica using this technique. For the first four or five days, I was, I was feeling horrible, coughing up blood and everything else. And I just bundled up my sleeping bag, jammed it in. And in four days, even my minus 40 degree bison bag was starting to feel not so lofty. And I realized, oh, dude. So I began unzipping it, opening it up, just kind of bundling up myself because it's a huge sleeping bag totally effective. I've spent, I don't know how many months, probably fractions of years or years of my life in the outdoors in the morning, bundled up like this under my little tarp and tent, and it completely works. My name's Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please like and comment on the video, and if you found it useful, subscribe to the channel. Links below to all the items in this video. Enjoy your camping and adventures!